On this episode of TFL Truck, we're gonna find out which one of these two is the best off-road heavy-duty truck. I have the defending champion, in this case, the Ram Power Wagon, and of course the Challenger is the 2020 GMC Sierra Heavy Duty AT4. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the specs and the coolest features of both of these trucks, and then we can decide which one is better. Upper trucks are all about specifications, and I'm talking about ground clearance, approach, breakover, departure angles. On paper, the Power Wagon has this competition handled, done. But I actually wanted to do a couple of measurements. So let's start here with the lowest point on the Power Wagon. And fuel economy is still pretty important, so they're using this chin spoiler. And that's about 13 inches off the ground. And Ram says the approach angle is 29.4 and the departure angle is 26 degrees. On the other hand, the GMC on paper has a worse approach angle, uh, worse breakover and worse departure angles. But let's measure the chin here. The lowest point is actually about 13 and a half. So from this standpoint, there's a little bit more clearance here. And GM trucks have always um, prioritized aerodynamics but in this case on this particular AT4 it's actually sitting a little bit higher and up here which I like so far point goes to the GMC the ground clearance to the rear diff on the GMC is almost nine and a half inches all right let's measure the mighty power wagon it's about eight and a quarter I'm pretty shocked actually Here it is, the Nexon Tire, Nexon Hero, Jeep Wrangler, JL. It's a giveaway Jeep. Nexon Tire partnered with Purple Heart Foundation, All J Products, and Rugged Ridge to build this Jeep to what you see here, and then give it away to one of our veterans. Very, very cool. You can enter the contest by submitting your story to Nexon Tire, and they'll pick one winner at the end of this year, 2019, and give away this really cool Jeep use the link in the description below. Heavy duty trucks, especially off-road heavy duty trucks, are all about imposing size and presence. So I'm gonna measure the badges and the grills. Uh, let's see here. So the Ram badge here in the front is 19 inches long and the power wagons Grill is about also about 19 inches tall. Let's compare it to the AT4. The badge, ooh, a little bit smaller, almost the same, 19. The height, huh, 19 also, it's a tie. So the only way to determine which has the most imposing face, I think has to be the width of the grill. So, 50 inches. <laughs> and the Power Wagon grill, it's about 44 inches wide. The GMC is actually taller in the nose and much wider. Point GMC. Perhaps the most important piece of equipment, of course, are the tires. And well, let's measure the sizes of these and just determine what's what. The GMC 84 is riding on Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner tires. And with the full weight of this diesel engine, I'm measuring about 33 inches diameter on the tire. It's actually supposed to be 34 if there was no weight on this. On the other hand, the Power Wagon is riding on Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires. And this is showing at about just over 31 inches. It should be like a 33 if there was no weight on this truck. So size-wise, GMC wins this, but I like the Duratrack tire better. It's just more aggressive. It works in mud, dirt, 
it's not too bad in this snowy condition here. So I'm going to give the point to the Power Wagon, even though this tire is a little bit too small. I think the Duratrack is a little bit better. Let's take a look under the hood and see what powers these beasts. Right here you see the latest 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel Duramax V8 here in the GMC. And the rating on this engine is 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. And it's made it to their new heavy-duty 10-speed automatic transmission. This powertrain combination is very powerful and also allows this truck to tow a lot more on that a little bit later but there's a choice of engines you can also get an 84 GMC heavy duty with a 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 you could save about 10,000 bucks and still have an off-road truck which is actually quite a bit lighter so I like having options of course this big diesel also has a functional hood scoop and you can drain out the water here and air goes on that side finally let's talk about crawl ratios on these two trucks because going slowly off-road is important maintaining constant speed and negotiating hard obstacles with the diesel engine you see here the GMC 84 has a crawl ratio of 42 to 1 when you combine the 10 speed automatic low range transfer case and the rear differential ratio the gas version of this truck has a slightly different crawl ratio of 40 point seven to one behold the 6.4 liter hemi the engine is the same for this brand new power wagon but what has changed is the transmission. It's now using an 8-speed ZF automatic and the new transmission helps a lot. It offers a better crawl ratio of 51 to 1. That's significantly better than in the GMC 84. But the Hemi still makes the same power, 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. And there is no diesel option. I know you guys have asked us for years, when is the power wagon going to have a diesel? And it's not anytime soon, as far as we know. All right, we've got to talk about interiors and some of the tech. Stepping on the inside of the 84, you find yourself in a slightly unique interior specific to the 84 with inserts and stitching. It looks a little bit different. This is the most luxurious version of the Power Wagon. You have leather seats, but it's still a special interior. It says Power Wagon on the seat here, so you know exactly which truck you're in. But even for a luxury truck, six person configuration with three sitting in the front here. How cool is that? GMC has you covered with up to six cameras on the truck itself plus an ability to plug in a trailer camera for towing gm has one of the best camera systems out there so of course you have a 360 degree view front view that shows you where you're steering but also up to 15 other different views and it's high resolution here's behind the truck here's the top view behind the truck you're steering in front of the truck. Really, really funky <laughs> exterior views. Specific views for the front tires to look at obstacles or curbs. Same thing behind the truck. Because this is a very long wheelbase, you need that. Finally, inside the bed, a hitch view behind the truck. And if more cameras were hooked up, we would see either inside the trailer or even behind the trailer with a transparent 
trailer camera view. The GMC also comes with rear camera mirror, which means you have a crisp view out the back of the truck. And if you imagine this lower line is where the top of the tailgate is, you can kind of see behind it, but you can also control its brightness, zoom level. Ooh, you can go hunting like this and look for wildlife. Or make it a little bit higher or lower. First of all, this is a 12 inch vertical display the latest Uconnect system, the largest display currently in a heavy duty truck. And you have several views, but not as many as in GMC. So you can look behind the truck. You could look inside the bed with a zoom in option. You can look down the side of the truck and adjust how wide your view is, which is especially good for towing or negotiating tight turns. Then you have the front camera, which is so cool. It's pretty high def and it shows you exactly where your tires would go. Of course the 360 degree view as well. If you put it in drive it shows you front steering lines and where your tire path would be which is really important for off-road negotiating obstacles. And of course you can have a wider view, a pretty wide view in the back, a narrow view in the back. So not quite 15 different views, but still everything you need in this particular camera system. The 84 truck is equipped with hill descent control. It's enabled using this big switch right here. But perhaps the coolest piece of tech inside the 84 is the heads-up display. It's really big, it's about 12 inches wide. The view of it, you can control its brightness, its color. You could select different pieces of information, including lane keep. And of course, your four-wheel drive monitor incl inclinometer is also there. Perhaps the best part of the power wagon is the old school tech, solid axles and uh, floor mounted mechanical shifter push it back for four high go transmission to neutral use the lever to go into neutral and then four low and then you have a lot more capability here you can lock the rear differential you can lock front and rear differentials in the GMC you only have a rear G80 locker which is a mechanical locker that you cannot select. Of course, you have hill descent control here in the power wagon, and you can disconnect the front sway bar. You got it all. Yes, that's true. The GMC does not have a solid front axle or disconnectable front sway bar, but it has a very unique feature for the heavy duty segment. It's an automated four-wheel drive system. It still has a transfer case, so you have four high, four low, but if you switch it to auto mode, it will act like an all-wheel drive system. Rear wheel drive until it detects slippage, and it will shift some power to the front to get you out of trouble. That's very cool. Also, off-road mode here on the mode selector, which changes the mapping for the transmission and your throttle. What about skid plates? It's a bit of a mixed bag with these two. The Power Wagon does not have a front skid plate. The GMC does. The Power Wagon does not have protection for the transmission. Neither does the GMC. But the Power Wagon ultimately has a little bit more protection down in the back for the fuel tank, the transfer case, and the exhaust system. The GMC also has protection for the transfer case, but not really a solid plate for the fuel tank. Not quite sure why. You guys know this, the Ram Power Wagon is laser focused on off-road capability, hence its suspension. It's a lot softer than a regular Ram heavy duty 4x4 truck and they're using Bilstein shocks. But for heavy duty truck, on this particular 
truck you see here, it's about 1,100 pounds of payload and about just over 10,000 pounds of towing. On the other hand, here with the GMC, it's still a heavy duty truck. So it's a little bit less off-road worthy, but it still has a lot of capability. Almost 3,000 pounds of payload and over 17,000 pounds towing capacity on this bad boy right here. And they're using Rancho shocks. So it's a little bit of a compromise for the suspension system, both for work and for off-roading. And the power wagon is using an older cab configuration for the crew cab and its wheelbase is mostly manageable 149 inches let me just show you uh, the door sizes though the rear door here is about 41 inches long and the front is about 44 inches long but what all this means for off-road ability is the RTI score on the power wagon with the front sway bar disconnected is a class leading 538. On the other hand, this 84 crew cab truck has a wheelbase that's almost 10 inches longer, 158.9 inches for the wheelbase. And the cab is actually larger. It's an all new cab for this 2020 truck. Just see how long this is. So the rear door is about one inch longer than the power wagons, 42. And the front door is about two inches longer than the power wagons, 46. So there's a lot more usable interior space. But if that wasn't enough, if you want a bigger truck, maybe for more towing, the 84 GMC is also available in a longer wheelbase with an eight foot bed as a crew cab single rear wheel. And for this shorter wheelbase crew cab, GMC says the RTI score, the Ram Travel Index is 365. That's versus 538 with the front sway bar disconnected on the power wagon. Power wagon takes that, of course, all day long. And we actually did our own Ram Travel Index video, but that's gonna be a separate video, also including the Ford Tremor. So stay tuned for that coming later. Now what about cargo trickery and accessories? Well, the power wagon is available with a ram box, which is really useful. It's a watertight system. It has lights. It does make your bed a lot narrower though. Still four feet wide on the bed and you still have the tie down rails and basically your standard tailgate. They haven't put a barn style tailgate on the power wagon yet. The GMC has its own trickery. Of course, it's a multi-pro tailgate, multi-function. And look, it even works in the snow. But the coolest feature of them all is an optional kicker stereo built in to the multi-pro tailgate to help your tailgate party going or your campsite with some nice tunes. When I started this comparison, I thought to myself, the power wagon is gonna take this hands down, but the GMC actually has a lot of good options for off-roading and also usable options for towing and hauling. And in the end, only one thing matters. It's the worn winch. The power wagon has it and the GMC doesn't offer a winch. In fact, the power wagon is the only factory truck with a winch option. When you get stuck off-roading, there's only one thing that could help you and that's a recovery tool like the winch. You're probably wondering about the price. The power wagon you see here with all the options and the level two group and the 12 inch screen is almost 68,000. And the GMC 84 with a turbo diesel V8 and a 10 speed Allison branded transmission is 77,000 bucks. Yes, these trucks are very expensive, but if they were both gas powered, they'll be very similarly priced. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about these two. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world heavy duty truck off-road reviews.